new professionals as distinct other members of the profession. Anecdotal evidence from conversations at other Sydney events indicated that new professionals' experiences with these barriers is not dissimilar to the rest of the profession, but that the lack of existing professional support networks can make them especially vulnerable. There's an important place for specialised new professional communities to assist with building networks of confidence. And as Lori said, we're lucky to have a few of those in Australia. But there are also significant benefits to joining communities that are inclusive of the diverse profession to continue that journey. And new professionals should be supported and encouraged to do so. Volunteer run activities require support to be successful over time. However, much of this support is structural, which makes it easier for associations to provide broad reaching to support to engage as many of their members as possible in volunteering capacities. By treating volunteers as employees, associations have the opportunity to really make their membership work for them, afford volunteers the communication, consistency and respect any volunteer or employee deserves. Design standard committee structures with roles and positions, but allow them to be flexible to adapt to the needs of particular communities and support them to advertise for new volunteers widely. Structures should support leadership within volunteer communities, but also incorporate succession plans with volunteer turnover to ensure that new voices are heard.